Are you looking to get the perfect frame? Because today is the perfect opportunity to discover how AI can assist you in removing unwanted objects. In this tutorial, we will explore the process of removing static objects, handling moving objects, and we will see if this effect has any limitations. We are going to use this clip for all our examples today. Now let's move to the color page. First, we'll need a tool to select our object that you want to remove. So now let's open the window menu. There are some predefined shapes. And for this example, I will choose linear. A rectangle appear on the screen and let's move it to cover our object. For this example, I seen better results when the softness was reduced. Next step is to track our window, so let's move to the tracker. By clicking this button, it will track the entire clip, both ways. From the effects menu, let's search for the object removal effect and move it on top of our node. By clicking this button, we can see the mask overlay that was created before. The first button that you need to press from this effect is the scene analysis. This will analyze the clip and here is the first result. Let's improve it. In case you have movement in your shot, you can use this slider to improve the results of the effect. In our case, I will select assume no motion. Search range is the distance in frames from the current frame that the object removal plugin is searching for replacement detail. The linear blend mode is a simple cloning operation, but you can also choose adaptive blend, which can provide you better results. For this example, we need to change the source to external to find details from outside of the mask. Build clean plate takes a best guessed approach to generate a background that will replace our object. We can see the magic already. We can watch the before and after. Let's play the clip. And here is the result in full screen. I will try to keep the work organized and I will create a new node to remove the second object, the Apple logo. For the object selection, this time I will go with circle. I will move it and make it smaller. This is a moving object, so let's track it like in the previous example. When it's done, we can add the object removal effect to our second node. Let's analyze the scene first. After it's completed, we just need to change the blend mode to adaptive blend and our second object is removed completely. I find the results quite impressive. I reverted all the previous changes and let's see if this effect has any limitations. Pause the video and give a comment if you think Resolve will be able to remove this glass and recreate the background. For this selection, I will show you now another tool, the curve. Let's draw the mask. You know already how to track and how to add the effect. Let's press the scene analysis button. After applying all the best settings, this is the result. Even trying to change all the values, the result is more or less the same as before. 
Right now, Resolve has a handy tool that's good in many scenarios, but it's not perfect. It could be better. You got a better way to remove objects? Let me know in the comments. Take care, see you soon.